Would I like a production playground? Would I like a read-write copy of production? Would I like to do it for zero cost and enormous benefit? What if I told you that DataGuard was 100% free? Now that's somewhat of a controversial statement because you can go pick up any license manual from the Oracle websites and it'll show you that whatever servers you're running the database on needs to be licensed. That makes sense. If you're gonna run our products on a server, then you need to license that server. DataGuard runs on a server and so that needs to be licensed. So how can I possibly claim that DataGuard is free? I'd like you to pause this video right about now. And if you're at work or if you're at home, think about how many servers that you currently have in your organization that are running the Oracle database. I'll make some assumptions here, but I'd be willing to bet it's more than one because most people I know are running a production server and a non-production server. A lot of people are running a lot more. They're running a production server, a UAT server, a test server, and a development server. And often that configuration of four is replicated multiple times throughout their organization. Even if you're running on cloud, typically you've got multiple VMs or you've got multiple autonomous databases, each one doing some sort of production versus non-production activity. I would say at the bare minimum, you're running two or more Oracle database servers. And because you're running those servers, you currently are paying the Oracle license for those servers to run the Oracle database products. What this means is any database that you have on one server, you could happily run a DataGuard copy of that database on one of your other existing licensed servers. Because that server is already licensed for Oracle activities, the license cost of adding a DataGuard clone of a existing database on another server is zero. All it costs you is disk space and a little bit of CPU resource to apply the archive logs. If you've ever done a database recovery, which ultimately is what DataGuard is doing, then you'll notice that the cost, the CPU cost is minimal to roll those archives forwards. It's done very, very efficiently, even in high volume environments. Thus the net cost then becomes the disk space and disk space is relatively cheap compared to everything else that goes on inside your IT organization. Let me bring it back to even just a single server. Let's say you've got just the one server, it's fully licensed for Oracle and you've carved it up into multiple VMs for production, development, test, etc. The same logic still applies. You could happily clone your production database onto a DataGuard copy on the same server. All it costs you is a little bit more CPU, a little bit more disk space, but it doesn't affect your license fee. It is by and large free because that machine is already licensed for the Oracle database. At which point you're possibly thinking, well, why bother? What does that give me? After all, you may already have a DR solution in place that may or may not involve DataGuard. It may involve things like storage copies or whatever. Even if you don't have a DR solution in place, you're thinking I've just got nightly backups and that might be fine for your business requirements. Here's the second controversial thing I'll say in this video. The DataGuard use as a DR solution is probably its least benefit. Now, this is not to badmouth DataGuard. DataGuard as a DR solution is awesome. But let's face it, disasters are hopefully rare things. We don't want disasters regularly, and therefore we often don't take advantage of our various copies of the data, whether it's using DataGuard or some other technology, we have all these copies of data for a rainy day scenario that we never get any benefit out of. And often management will view that as a lost exercise in money. But having a DataGuard copy of your production database is so much more than DR, because DR never happens, or hopefully. The ability to have a perfect replica of your production environment is a massive boon to any database administrator or even developers, even customers and end users. Because what that means is you have a copy of production that you have a lot more freedom with now. You can damage it, you can play with it. It's a playground for doing things without any risk to your real production environment. You might be thinking that's not how DataGuard works. DataGuard is a copy of the database that you can't touch. But we have a very cool technology called Snapshot Standby. All I do is I log on to my Oracle database, my DataGuard clone, 
turn off recovery in the normal way, and I do alter database convert to snapshot standby. It breaks the link with the production source. That clone of the production is now opened in full read write mode. It's a frozen in time copy of your production database, but it's open read write. Think about the opportunities that now gives you. If I'm a DBA, I want to test out an application deployment. I can do it on that one. I want to gather stats against that environment because the database size is identical to production. So rather than hammer my production system, I could gather stats on this clone and then import them into production. I'm avoiding that resource cost. I want to test out a patch application. I want to test out uh, backups. I want to test out a recovery. I have all these things I can do on my production playground because I'm no longer interfering in any way with production. My end users, if they've got sufficient security access, I can give them ad hoc query access to this production copy. They can run silly queries, they can try some stuff, they can forget a join. It doesn't matter what damage they do because it's not going to hurt your existing production node. The key thing here is that production playground gives you so much more opportunities for things to be explored and played with. Of course, if I'm doing all this stuff, then this clone of production is now diverging potentially away from real production. And what's more, it's no longer being kept in sync with the archive logs. Is that a concern? Well, not really. Let's say you've had your database open for eight hours throughout the day and people have just been smashing away at it and the end of the day comes along and you'd like to get it back in sync with the production. You don't have to copy the entire production database back over again. You just log on to your clone of database, your data guard copy, and you do alter database revert to physical standby. Now, unbeknown to you perhaps, is when we originally converted your database to a snapshot standby and opened it read write, we turned on flashback logging. So all those changes you did during the day, whether you were testing out an application deployment, et cetera, they all got logged. Now, when you convert back to a physical standby, rather than having to copy the entire database over, we simply flashed back the database to the point at time you converted it to a snapshot. We simply roll back those changes. Now that it's back in sync with production as it was, say, eight hours ago, we resume standby recovery and we roll forward the archives and the databases get back in sync very, very quickly. You might be thinking this has left a giant eight hour hole in your disaster recovery solution. However, during this time, we were still transmitting the archives over. They are still making their way across the network to your secondary server. So even if you had some production catastrophe during that eight hour window, yes, it would be a little bit longer because you have to convert to a physical standby and roll for the archives, but you haven't lost the archives. The archives are still there because they've been transmitted regularly over to your data guard node. There is a tiny maybe extra risk window because normally we are submitting redo logs in real time across the network. So there is that potential risk there, but the benefits of having that production playground, I think outweigh that risk. And if it was a big deal, you could actually have multiple data guard copies of your database. One for true DR, one for production playground, one for any other things you needed to use it for. And I wanna stress again, the license cost here, I believe is zero. This is not active data guard, which is read only access to the database. This is a fully fledged read write copy of your database that's a frozen snapshot in time of your production facility without any extra costs because those servers are already licensed for Oracle. So if you're not having a data guard node on your production databases, ask yourself the question, would I like a production playground? Would I like a read write copy of production? Would I like to do it for what I believe is zero cost and enormous benefits. Check out Snapshot Standby and make the case to your management that a data guard node is probably not gonna cost you a cent.